Uh, hi, we started the vlog out in the early morning, right? Ash, you want to say hi? Yeah, I bet. She doesn't want to be on it yet, to respect that. You if mom's just over here. I'm having a tired <laughs> morning too. We're just getting ready, as you can tell. Kitchen's a little dirty. night I wanted to shower last night but I would rather have a fresh shower this morning after I kind of get them off to school wow I look awful I did a little face help last night I kind of put some coconut oil on it and um, shaved it and put some really good face moisturizer on it and then left it alone all night and so I'm hoping I can I don't know what's wrong with my face but so we're getting Ashley some bagel here this morning um, the mini bagels that I got yesterday at Target. I'm gonna get packed up to go to my sister's shower, but I can't toast this bagel one-handed. So, <laughs> hang on one second. All right, kids are gone. The older girls had late start today, but Abby went to a little coffee shop in our neighborhood. They all walk over there. And so she's been gone for a couple hours actually. But Kaylee just went to school. The other ones are off. And I'm gonna get cleaned up, showered up, and then I'm gonna start packing my bag. It really isn't that much, but I do have presents to pack. So I'm gonna shower up really quick and then show you what I'm doing to pack, just for fun. I don't know, I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, that is much better. I'm gonna go open the window in the bathroom here. I don't have good ventilation in the bathroom. Plus there's carpet on the floor because that's just the most disgusting way to do a bathroom. Anyway, tangent. But I'm all showered. I haven't done my hair because I think I'm either gonna let it dry, just lay like flat, and then I'll straighten it late tonight and so it's ready to go for the morning. Or I'll just do my little twisty thing so it's up and out of my way and then kind of dry it out tonight and do the same thing. Just depends on how much I want it out of my way today, during the day. Because I realized this morning we're out of milk, yogurt, almost out of eggs, butter, like all these things. I'm like, oh, I didn't go to Costco. <laughs> so I am not on a regular going to Costco anymore now that Jason's having to work six days a week. And so I have to go to Costco and I just realized it's half day for the younger kids. <laughs> so I'm gonna hurry and pack really quick. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. And then we gotta run to Costco and I might actually run to Target. And I'll explain that in just a second. I'll show you why I, I need to go back to Target even though I was there yesterday. So, all right, first of all, I always clean before I pack everything. All the laundry is almost done, but I have all of this stuff here that I got at Target yesterday. So I'm gonna start pulling that stuff out. These are for Abby and Kaylee. That is for my twin sister. And I've got all these Oreos. If you are new to my channel, this is kind of a joke with my sister and my husband. I'm gonna come up with some kind of a jingle, but I think I need my sister's help with that. So 
I got all of those. All right, so this is everything that I need to pack, I think. But that's why I kind of laid it out and trying to figure it out. So this outfit is the one I'm going to wear in the plane. This is a pair of little jeggings, but they're capri size. And so I get hot on the plane, and I like to be comfortable with the seatbelt and getting up and down. And I don't like to have to adjust my pants and all that kind of stuff. So I've got jeggings and then that little um, tunic that I got at Target the other day. And then, because that one is... A little on the warmer side and cozier side for a flight but then it has short sleeves but also that's why I want to go to Target because I sometimes get cold on the Seattle side of the flight it's gonna be 55 degrees when I leave to go get on the plane but then when I get to Utah it's gonna get up to 75 degrees <laughs> so I'm kind of having to like do a double outfit kind of a scenario plus like traveling all day in one outfit and then going to like a party I guess isn't really in the same outfit isn't really what I want to do so I think what I'm gonna do is wear this little outfit on the plane cozy kind of warm and then I want to go get like a cardigan or something like one of the long cardigans to wear with that on the plane both on the flight there and the flight home but then when I get there I'm gonna wear this shirt you saw that this is in my intro so you just barely saw this one and then a pair of shorts because it's like I said it's gonna be 75 degrees and then we're just hopping back in the car and going back to my sister's house like two hours away so I don't have to worry about being cold at that point and then the flight coming home oops um, I have just the t-shirt and I'll either wear the shorts I think I don't know what to do coming home because I don't want to wear the jeggings again if that outfit I guess is clean and it was comfortable on the plane Maybe I'll just wear that one again, but I wanted to have a t-shirt and I'll probably just wear the shorts and a sweatshirt to come home in because my flight coming home is at 7.45 in the morning, so I need to get to the airport at 5.45, which means I need to get up at my sister's house at like 5 o'clock in the morning. So it will be chillier at 5 in the morning no matter how warm it gets during the day, and I need it to be easy. I need to just be able to get up, get dressed, whatnot. So then I just have pajamas because, you know, you can't... You have to have pajamas when you're at someone else's house. It's just kind of, and I think my brother, I don't think my brother stays there. My brother stays at my twin sister's house like two, two or three days a week because he has a job down there and then he lives clear up north by my mom and so my mom and dad. But anyway, I don't think he's there the night that I'm there. So I don't have to necessarily worry because it's all girls. She just has one other roommate, but anyway. So I'm gonna pack this stuff up. So I'm, I'm gonna just kind of see if it kind of stays together. With the Oreos in here, I'm just not sure if everything will stay like held into place and not like wiggle around a ton. But then coming home, the bag is gonna be super empty because it won't have the Oreos in it. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, here, let me just pack a few things and we'll see what we're gonna do. I don't know. All right, so I don't think I'm gonna worry about getting out the cubes because I think this will work just fine. I've got my clothes in here. I might have to kind of tuck them up because I've got my makeup bag over there. I'll show you that one in just a second. But then I'm gonna put my notebook here on top. That one is for Erin. And then I've got the gift bags. There's actually another one inside and then the tissue paper. It'll rest on top once that makeup bag is inside there. And then on this side, is <laughs> all the Oreos. And then I'll put like this stuff down inside there. And then this one goes into my makeup bag. Oh, and I need to put this, oh, I need to put this on the clothing side. So I'll do that real quick. All right, so I've got my makeup bag. I've shown this before. In case you're new, I got it on Amazon. I've got just my basic stuff in here, makeup stuff, sponge brushes, bare minimum on my makeup, and then just a few brushes to touch up my makeup when I get there and then to do it the next morning. That guy gets zipped up into there and then flapped down here and then it gets folded up like that and put it in. So then I, oh, see this is why I do my makeup out of the bag the days before I travel because then I guarantee that I'm actually gonna put everything back in it and use everything that I've packed. So then my other problem is that this is the only face setting spray that I've got. And even though there's probably less than three ounces in there, 
they probably won't let me take that on a plane because it doesn't say that it's less than three ounces and I don't want to lose that on the plane or before I even get on the plane so I'll grab another bottle of this at Target I think my girls are out of this too because I looked in their room to see if they had a smaller bottle that listed like the ounce size on the bottle and they didn't have any so I figured might as well buy a smaller bottle for me and then I can just give them this one because it's probably the equivalent but you know I just don't want to get in trouble at um, the airport so anyway I'm not gonna pack that yet that makeup bag needs to get used tomorrow morning I just need charging cord a charging cord this is not the good one I have my phone plugged in down here but it's not the good one I think I'm all set this is gonna be quite the empty bag when I come home when those Oreos are not in there so I'm just gonna set this here this guy goes into my makeup bag. It's gonna be a very simple trip. I always find it interesting with myself that um, when I go on a flight, like my flight to wherever I'm going, I'm always like, oh, I wanna look nice. I want my hair to be done. I want my outfit to be cute, and comfortable, and all that kind of stuff. And then when I'm coming home, I literally have like t-shirt, shorts, and I'm gonna get a sweatshirt from the laundry. I'm like, I don't care when I come home. I'm gonna be coming home to do laundry, literally like, I'm getting home at like 9.30. My father-in-law is gonna pick me up from the airport. I'm coming home straight to do Friday laundry and I don't think I'll have to go to the store at that point, but so it's like when I come home, it's not glamorous. I'm <laughs> just having to come home. Jason has to work. I have to get stuff done here at home. So anyway, packing is all done. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. I don't even know what time it is. I actually feel like I'm gonna be rushed now. 11 o'clock. Oh, I have three hours. It's not bad. I thought I had less time than that. So, just bringing these down. Because when I get home, those clothes are going to be dirty. So, I might as well. Oh, and I can move laundry. So, I got the little girls' laundry today just because it was like a mess because they hadn't gotten their basket. They hadn't gotten the clothes in the basket, is what I'm trying to say. So all the clothes and the hangers were on the floor. So I just had them bring their laundry down today and I'm gonna get a head start on their laundry. So then on Friday, I just have the older girls laundry to do and then whatever I've used and Jason's used. And so I'll probably only have like two loads of laundry to do Friday, which will be nice. So I'm gonna throw this load in and then we're gonna go to Costco. I may or may not bring you along to Costco because it's literally just getting our basics. Well, there's one extra thing I was gonna get today that was different, way different, not like way different for you guys, but like way different for me. I'll remember, I think I wrote a list. If I didn't remember to write a list, then I probably didn't write a list. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so you can't, I don't know if you can see it very well. Got kind of the basics, you know, normal stuff, nothing special. But I did get something fun and new today. It's these recycle bags. They're really cute. This one's actually Washington. I have a lot of Hawaii ones, but I've never actually seen a Washington one. So, secret, don't tell Jason. He doesn't like it when I get new one of these. But the other ones that I have are like really worn out and I'm mad that I didn't buy more of them in Hawaii. So, I got some today. All right, so nothing fancy at Costco, like I said. Just gotta get stuff stocked up. The girls annoyed. The girls are annoyed that there's no yogurt. And anyway, I saw that someone this morning had made a breakfast drink, but then no milk. <laughs> so I feel really bad that um, they didn't have milk this morning. They did have bagels, and I made some juice for the older girls once they went to once the younger ones went to school. But anyway. I need to go to the bank and then I'll run to Target and see if I can find that card again. I don't know, I'm just looking for like something mustard yellow, fallish, and then go home because I have an hour before the kids get home from school. Don't show you. I'm gonna come and get you. This girl has been making messes all over the place. Are you watching the show and coloring? Yeah. Yeah? Nobody's yeah. You're goofy, huh? <laughs> Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Are you doing some letters? I have an idea. What? Can I give you an idea? All right, Ashley, here's my challenge. I want you to take your sight words. This is from your teacher. And I want you to write one whole list. You can do any one of these. You can start with this one. These are the easiest ones. Okay, I want you to do that. 
I'm going to write all these words and then I'm going to come back and we're going to say them all, okay? Oh my gosh, I think you know almost all of them. You can get a new paper. You want a new paper? Okay. Will you do that for me? I don't. Yes, you will. Hey, you guys. I've been so lazy. I haven't been doing very much. Just kind of putting a few things in the bag and then I lay down on my bed. I didn't go to sleep. Let me turn on the light. Ashley's just, she did her letters and her words, and then, not all of them, and I'm trying to decide what to do for dinner, I don't want to do like a ton, she wants a waffle, I do have some in the freezer she can have, I actually think I have my sister-in-law's taco soup out here, I didn't know where Jason put it yesterday when I was looking for dinner, which is why we went out, but I have her taco soup, I think he just put it in here after he like got out of the car or something. Anyway, so there's my taco soup. Let's see if I can open the door and hold the camera at the same time. There we go. I don't remember who else ate this. They like the taco roll-ups, so maybe they'll grab some chicken from the freezer. But I'm gonna have taco soup. Ashley said you wanted a waffle. She's kind of a pill. But she's had crackers already and a yogurt. I'll get her some grapes. Something else. Alright. See, this is why you freeze waffles. And then technically not dinner time quite yet, but I just want to kind of get it going. It's 5.20. The kids went to bed really late last night, so um, and Kaylee's having emotional drama with one of her friends. Anyway, she doesn't want me talking about this. So, Jason's probably not gonna work late tonight. He will not like that taco soup. He doesn't like beans, and there's beans in it. So I'm gonna give him the leftover. Um, I had a grinder last night at dinner. I only ate half of it, it was like super long. So, I only ate half of it. So I'm gonna give that to him. And the leftover tater tots. Maybe Chelsea will get some tater tots too. She wanted hash browns, but I don't think I want to go to the effort of like making hash browns just for her. So I'll give her the tater tots. And I guess I'm hungry because I had a light lunch. I had a sandwich and some grapes. But <laughs> you hear a goober. Did you shower last night? You did, right? Mm hmm. All right, sweet. So she doesn't have to shower. Okay, we're gonna figure out dinner. Sorry, this might be a boring video. Might be kind of boring. I'm just, I guess I'm anxious to go and be gone and not have responsibilities. <laughs> so I kind of, I've already checked out. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I've already kind of checked out. No one out to play? Yeah. What are you wearing? That's like Kaylee's size hoodie. I'm gonna make you a quesadilla and dad's tater tots. Does that sound good? Yeah. Can you give me the tater or the? Oh, I'm trying to text. No, they're gone then. Get the the tortilla shell out, and I'll make you a quesadilla, okay? All right, we've got dinner. Let me show you what we do when we're doing like makeshift dinners. We have waffles and grapes for Ashley, and Chelsea has tater tots, grapes, and a quesadilla. Oh yes, yeah, so these are also from dinner last dinner. night. So that was her hash brown Probably. that she wanted, but we did tater tots instead. And Abby has a quesadilla and some well, grapes. Tater tots and hash browns. <coughs> she has something exact else. Same. Anyway, and on nights like this where not everyone is home and dad's not quite home yet, he hasn't closed up shop yet, I let them have an electronic night after prayer and after we kind of check in with them. So that's what we're going to do. And then you probably won't film again until they're in bed. Unless anything happens, we'll kind of get Jason home and see if anything else happens. But because I don't want to bring the camera out for Kaylee, she's not really in the mood for it. So we're going to eat dinner and then we'll be back. I forgot. Here's my taco soup. <laughs> okay, we'll be back later. <laughs> Kaylee has my cookies. Jason already stole one. Kaylee! Oh my gosh, my kids are against me. Jason's against me. Abby, no! Dang it all, give it to me. I don't actually have them. You're in your they're in your shirt. <laughs> Abby! Dang it all, I'm gonna lose my shorts. Abby, no! Guys, this isn't fair. Jason, get it from 
her. That's my girl. Ow! I did Thank oh, you, Abby. You, can't, you grabbed the one. No, it didn't. Show me your hands. Oh, they're orange? I didn't realize that they were. I thought they were chocolate. You have them in your shirt? You have a chocolate one. You're trying to get out of what? Wait. All right. You're talking behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were stealing my Milano's. Okay, so time for bed. Ashley, take us out. Tell everyone <laughs> goodbye. Ow! Tell everyone you're gonna be super good for Daddy tomorrow night. You're gonna be good for Daddy and for your sister's babysitting until Daddy gets home. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay, say good night. Oh, Jason's home. <laughs> he already ate one of my cookies. Can I at least have one since everyone else got No, everyone else did not get one. I ate one. Okay. We're going to bed. I'm missing girls. Wait, where's my tooth? Wait. You need to stop. Okay, so this girl has tried to give her tooth to the tooth fairy. I keep on sleeping. She Down like here. starts sleep up there on the top of her bed. And then she ends up clear down here, and her two, she carries it with her in her sleep or something. I don't even know. And so the tooth fairy gets really confused about what pillow it's going to be under. So you can't rotate in the middle of the night. It's in there. Oh, yeah. It's in there? Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe we should put it here, right by the bed. And so that it's that not about... So the tooth fairy can remember... Well, that way, if you switch pillows and move across the bed, then it's not going to get confusing. Here, pick your mouth, Garden. Oh, my goodness. I'm not doing it. Chelsea's tired. <laughs> that looks really funny. <sighs> okay, okay, get let's in. Let's go brush teeth. No, no she should have brushed her teeth. Did you brush your teeth already? No. Ashley has. No, she hasn't. Yes, she has. She came up when she did her pajamas. I didn't do. You did not. Did you? Did you yeah. have that cookie in Kay. your mouth? Yeah, because I, I ate the cookie. Okay, let's go clean it up. So you got one? She had like a tiny little nibble of mine. <laughs> she did. So I I she did her saw. teeth already, Jace. Yeah. Okay, fine, whatever. Go to bed. Okay, go to bed. Oh, we need to do some reading with you. So okay. I'm going to end our night. Oh, Chelsea, here's your chapstick. She's super tired, so I'm going to let her go to sleep. And Ashley, we're gonna do some sight words for our reading tonight, lay down. I'm not even gonna show what she's doing. It's oh not appropriate. Okay, um, see you guys tomorrow morning. Actually, it's gonna, just gonna be, in, well not, I guess 12 hours or so. So we'll start traveling in a couple hours. Okay, I, I'm really glad I'm gonna go away for 24 hours and get some alone time. But mom. Say goodnight. Goodnight. <laughs> Say goodnight. Good night. Oh, where's your face? Do it again. Good night. You're tired. <laughs> okay. Good night, guys.